Hi everybody, Alex Supply here from Expert Forex and in today's video I want you to make you aware of our alert and signal service which has just produced 800 pips in only one week. Now the alert service is one of the benefits of being a member of our Premium Advantage Forum and as you can see on the menu there you just click on alert services and you can go and have a look at those alerts. The alert service is an email service and the minute the alerts are published, you will receive an email notifying you of the trades. The alerts are published on a daily basis round about the London market open or soon after that. They're about two to three alerts a day. And this is more or less the format of the alerts. We provide charts showing the reason for the alert. Uh, there are clickable values that you can use to input into your order processing system for your particular broker. And here is a summary of the alerts. So the same values that appear there are over there. So we try and make the alerts as in as educational as possible explaining why the entries are entered into with detailed charts here's another example of those alerts okay so here's a summary of last week's trades and there were 12 trades one of which is still open the aussie usd which is open at 112 pips the others have all closed as you can see there and the total currently for the week is 805 pips. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the individual trades on the charts and to give you an idea of why these entries were made. Okay, let's start with the open trade. Here is the open trade. It was taken on a daily chart and that's why there is uh, it is still open. Basically, it was a channel bounce after a double top you see see the double top there there's the stop there is the entry and it is on its way to the target you'll see that many of the trades have channel trading aspects to them the second trade here a trend line break again after a double top the stop is just above the uh, last double top entry on the trend line break supported by a divergence and a trend line violation on the RSI entry was there and the exit was there so good 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 trade overall the third trade we had was a negative trade the entry was actually quite good it went up quite nicely came down and then went up even further than the previous peak and then unfortunately reversed and hit the stop so that was an unfortunate one again it almost made it halfway to the target here is again a channel trade on number four channel trade bounce there bounce 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 uh, and then uh, we traded the trend line violation in the direction of the trend went in straight off the trend line violation and exited on the previous low could have most probably done a lot better if we had confidence to go to the bottom of the channel the next trade is a strong very strong support violation that occurred uh, the entry was just after the support after the support violation and it uh, then exited over there now just a a comment that i haven't made so far all of these transactions are pending order transactions so uh, you are given a lot of time to enter your trades after the alerts have been provided these are all pending order entries and again another tra uh, channel trading trade bounce 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 and and the trade was taken as a result of that bound upper bounce there it, it, it moved over a trend line and also over the moving average perfect entry there again went for the previous low and could have done a lot better so the next trade is seven and eight it was actually a straddle trade where there was a very very strong convergence of all the moving averages and when that happens one can expect a huge jump out of that situation the smallest bit of news will create a lot of volatility there and that's in fact what happened but unfortunately the straddle was sell over here buy over there 
and unfortunately it activated the cell and but was stopped out as the buy was activated so um, with this straddle the, the net sum was actually positive because the loss on the sell was a lot smaller than the gain on, on the buy and uh, that actually worked out quite nicely. You'll see that when these multiple moving averages not, when they actually become very close to each other, that is a good time to trade uh, as that will normally result in a strong trend. And, and there's another example of that. Okay, so number nine was again a, tra a, a channel trade to bounce, 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 bounce. And then with channel trading, there is uh, this concept of failed swing. So that leg over there should have gone to the bottom of that channel. It didn't and it created a, a failed swing. And when a fail swing happened, the likelihood of a breakout is quite good. And as you can see, as it broke out of the channel, it was entered into and uh, exited at that particular point, which is quite a good trade. It was supported by a divergence on the RSI and a trend line violation. Then again, 10, another channel trade. Uh, uh, you can see the channel going up and down here. Yeah, there was a small divergence there. Uh, the sell was entered into uh, uh, at the top of the channel and uh, the uh, it went halfway uh, down the channel. Uh, one can trade all the way down, but if you want to be conservative, you could ju just trade halfway or to the next support and which was in fact where the target was it was just above the previous support okay then number 11 uh, there was a triangle uh, uh, on this particular currency it broke out of the uh, triangle in, into the buy and it went and hit the stop over there nice trade there and then again we had a double top a double top over here with a trend line violation entered straight after the trend line violation it did bounce around quite a lot, went quite a way to the target, came all the way back, and then and then eventually found its way to the target. So that gives you an idea of the type of uh, analysis that is done to get to the alerts that are, pro are provided. Now, as I've mentioned before, these alerts are a benefit of the Premium Advantage Forum. There they are on the on the. Uh, menu and all you do is click on that and go to the alerts and then set your email system up to receive them uh, alerts immediately when they are provided because they are provided as pending orders it gives you more time to enter them and they are provided round about the London open or just after the London open on a daily basis if you're not already a member of the premium advantage forum uh, please go and join it. It is a paid forum. Uh, use the link provided and in the description and in the commentary of this video. And as you can see, there are huge benefits to joining the forum. We've got uh, big discounts on our uh, products, uh, set files for all of our EAs, trading alerts. We've got free tools. Proprietary trading is one of the the hot topics at the moment there's a lot of discussion and support that's going into proprietary trading where you trade other people's money there are free trading courses available there's a lot of discussion again on any topic that you'd like to discuss you can do it there they're free Udemy courses and there are discounted one-on-one -on -one sessions when you join the forum and again there's the button that you can click on to join the uh, premium advantage forum so from me alex employee i hope you found this video interesting cheerio